Now, a daring dining experience or a recipe for disaster? Japan is relaxing restrictions on serving up fugu, a rare delicacy that can also be deadly. Previously, only highly trained chefs in licensed restaurants have been allowed to prepare it. Now all it takes is a one-day class. From Tokyo, here's North Asia correspondent Mark Willisey. It's horrendously expensive, hideously ugly and contains enough poison to kill you many times over. But in Japan, fugu is a delicacy almost worth dying for. If you eat the most toxic parts, you die fast. They say it's 200 times more poisonous than cyanide. Kunio Miura has been a licensed fugu chef for 60 years. He's trained to separate the edible portions from organs such as the liver and ovaries which contain lethal tetrodotoxin. But now Tokyo's government is deregulating the fugu trade. This deregulation will allow restaurants, even if they are not licensed, to offer fugu to customers as long as the poisonous parts have been removed by someone who has a license. But here in Tokyo, some see eating fugu from an unlicensed restaurant as akin to playing Russian roulette. Yes, it scares me. Making it cheaper through less regulation is fine, but not if it poisons me. Paralysis followed by death is just one reason not to eat fugu. Another is cost, with a plate of thinly sliced sashimi selling for about $100. Well, some call this dining with death, but it's time for the taste test. Hmm, it's not bad, and hopefully it won't be my last meal. Although the same can't be said for about two dozen other people here in Japan in the last decade, who've all fallen victim to poorly prepared dishes of this potentially toxic fish. When eating fugu, it's always a case of taking the good with the bad, not to mention the ugly. Mark Willisey, ABC News, Tokyo.